Hey everybody, welcome to Your Beautiful Table. Your Beautiful Table is a website and YouTube channel dedicated to making your tables beautiful. We cover home fragrance, china, table linens, room decor, lots of fun things to help make your special celebrations special. So today we're gonna to be talking about Scentworks Campfire Woods Candle and I'm gonna be comparing it to Diptyque's Feu de Bois Candle and I found this in my candle closet which is the Bath and Body Bur Bath and Body Burks. Bath and Body Works White Barn Fireside Candle, so I'll be comparing these, so stay tuned. Thanks everybody for coming on back. Welcome to my living room. So this is a little bit of change of pace. So I will share with you that today I'm recording this video on my new iPhone 11 Pro and just checking it out to see like how the sound quality does and what the uh, camera performance is like. And we'll see if this is gonna be my new recording device. I have a Canon camera that I've been using in the past and so there's just some opportunities around the focus and the lighting and that kind of thing. So we'll see. How well this does so it is a gray and cold day here in North Carolina um, we're gonna get down to like into the 20s today and it's rainy and wet outside so a great day to light up a candle and be at home uh, so recently I shared with you all Diptyque's photo block candle and it was a really great fragrance for winter and fall and Oh, it just has an amazing smell. But this is an expensive candle, and so I wanted to share with you a little bit um, more like um, budget-friendly candles that I was able to find that have a, uh, have a similar fragrance. And one of those is Scentworks Campfire Woods. And so I think this was the star of uh, Scentworks uh, release at Kohl's this fall. A lot of people have been talking about it. It was one of the um, most popular fragrances from that collection, and I have been able to burn it all the way down. You all know I took a hiatus from my old YouTube channel and I've started this one, and in that meantime, I was able to not only burn that Diptyque candle, but also this campfire wood. So let me bring it up to the camera. Hopefully this one will work a little bit better. And you'll be able to see the label here. So a lot of wood in a pile here that's cut. There's a gold label there that says Campfire Woods. It's a very nice label. These are die cut sticker labels um, there. And the glass is this purple smoky looking glass. Of course, the uh, Scentworks jars are nice and hefty. They have a octagonal glass lid with the silicone gasket. And inside is a three wick uh, candle that's in there. You can see this candle burn really well. Um, there's not a lot of soot or smoke on the edge of the candle, and there's not a lot of wax remaining on the side, and the candle uh, wicks burned all the way down. The wax was a white color, and it sort of got a little bit of, of smoky gray as it burned down, but overall the performance of this candle was really okay. It does take a minute for these three wicks to form a wax pool. These uh, wicks were actually centered really well in the middle of the candle and spaced evenly. So overall, the you know manufacturing of this candle was right on. Scentworks Campfire Woods, uh, the scent of it is, uh, they describe it as autumn leaves, mountain air, birch wood and smoky woods. And so you'll recall from our diptyque um, that birch is a similar um, fragrance soak in this candle. And it is, these are very similar. So um, I would say that on cold, the diptyque candle is stronger and you can actually, it perfumes the air just on cold. If you were to place this on an end table or something, you would be able to enjoy this candle just uh, as it is. Even the box is still fragranced from having the candle inside. So the fragrance intensity is stronger here, but the Campfire Woods candle, it uh, when it was fully lit and had a full wax pool, filled a room. Now, it um, has very similar fragrance notes, as I mentioned, and that birch, and it probably has some juniper in there, even though it's not caught up, but it doesn't have fur. So this doesn't go to like Christmas because it doesn't have that fir tree or the balsam notes that you'd expect from a Christmas or holiday candle. It definitely stays um, more into that smoky campfire smell. I don't know what they add to these candles to get it to be smoky and have that smoky fragrance, but it's phenomenal. Like I just, it feels warm and cozy and relaxing. 
and it's a it's a sophisticated fragrance. It feels like it almost like cleanses or purifies the air because it's similar to um, like incense in a church. It does smell a little bit like incense, but not that like, you know, uh, hippie kind of incense, but just sort of that uh, warm, rich, incensed kind of fragrance. It's definitely cozy and, and heartwarming, which makes this a great candle for fall into winter and even into late winter. So this would be a great candle for January when the leaves have fallen and you're just feeling austere and sort of cool and crisp and cold. The Campfire Woods candle I think would um, be really great to feel warm at home. Now this candle offered, I don't know how many, let's see, up to, burns up to 40 hours. It's a very large candle. So the interesting thing is the wax on this candle and the three wicks was 40 hours, whereas the wax on this candle at six and a half ounces, and this one was uh, 14 ounces. So um, more than twice the size, 60, out, 60 hours of burn time with this small dip tea candle, whereas this one had um, up to 40 hours. So you go through a lot faster, and I can't remember what the price on this one was, but I think it was like retailed around $27 or so. You all will remind me in the comments, but, um, it was on sale half price when we bought them, you know, and so go to Kohl's, you can be able to get them uh, for less. And so uh, this is definitely one I would buy again because I enjoyed the fragrance. Now, when we compare the two in terms of fragrance profile, the Diptyque candle, you know, as you would expect, has a more nuanced and perfected fragrance profile. The Campfire Woods, two things. One, there's like a tinny little um, bitter note at the top, like a top note that's very, not very bitter, but it's bitter. And it's like, um, and I say bitter, it's like when you eat cilantro or there is like, you know, something that's like a bitter herb and you just, mm, and it will sort of zing your nose a little bit. And so this, the Diptyque candle is completely soft. The fragrance blend is phenomenal and it doesn't have that bitterness. This one has a, a like a tinge of bitterness at the top. And it also has a tendency to get like a candle wax burnt um, wick smell. So this one does not have that um, sort of burnt wax smell. Whereas this one, as it burned, had a little bit of like a burnt candle smell. And I, the, I don't know whether it's the fragrance profile of this or if it's the wick performance because it has that smoky note in it, but it has just like a tinge of burnt wick. Um, and it sort of like goes to like, you know, when you like burn the hair on your knuckles or like burnt hair and it's just not great. It's not that bad, but it's got this like, meh, off-putting. But hey, $80, $15. So for the price, the performance, uh, and just the beautiful, um, uh, votive that this comes in this glass jar is just phenomenal i really enjoyed this so it has a a, a fantastic aesthetic uh, it's something that you know you can clean out the wax uh, put it in the freezer and then uh, use a knife to uh, carefully clean out the wax this is something that you could use again i did notice when i did that on another one that the color is a coating rather than being colored glass and so you just want to be careful as you as you clean it off and also even the stickers uh, might be fragile. They were um, pretty tough to peel off. So, um, but it could be, you know, this would look wonderful with a, a you know, a tea light drop down in or another votive candle would be great uh, to reuse or with a fall uh, flower arrangement uh, coming out of fall or winter. So let's talk for a second here, just as a preview of this uh, white barn from Bath and Body Works candle. This is the fireside candle and it is, I think these are all 14 and a half ounces, right? Y'all remind me, I'm out of practice. So 14 and a half ounces at retailing at $24. You know you can get them uh, for a lot less when Bath and Body Works goes on sale. These are their classic three wicks and you can see I burned this once and the wicks are forming those uh, mushroom caps there. I'll just trim it off. Uh, it's white creamy wax. It does have a very similar fragrance profile um, to the uh, Campfire Woods. However, it, um, it goes a little bit more burnt and the, the uh, smoke is a little bit heavier in this one. And I don't know if I like that. It's very strong on the smoke. And last night when I was burning it, and you know, the, the jury's still out, it was like, it, you know, something on fire. 
you know, is something burning in the house. And so that's a little bit like too much of a good thing. And so I'll continue to burn this one and, and see what we think. But, you know, here you have, you know, photo blah, you can't go wrong. Fantastic gift. For those of you who are, have uh, candle lovers in your life, I would pick this one if it were a luxury candle that I was going for. Just, uh, um, you, you can't go wrong. And then second would be um, this campfire woods. And then, you know, Jury's still out, but I think this um, fireside would be a third. Um, but y'all come back and I'll, um, you know, I'll, and we'll touch base on this uh, fireside candle to make sure that it's something that I would be willing to wholeheartedly recommend. So thanks everybody for joining on this uh, candle review. You know, here at your beautiful table, we'll do uh, candle reviews. We've got also a lot of other things coming. Y'all, I'm moving. And so I'm going to share with you my dining rooms right over here. So I'm going to share with you about my dining room. We're going to be talking about curtains and lighting and tabletop and all that kind of good stuff as I pack things away. So stay tuned for some of that. Consider subscribing if you like that kind of content. Thanks for watching, everybody.